Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. If you haven't figured out, I'm Carolyn and I just love clothes. <laughs> so today I did a Stitch Fix uh, freestyle haul for you guys. Um, you know, I'm on that app all the time and I had items that I have on my save list that I routinely clean out, add new items, remove items, like, yeah, I changed my mind, I don't want that type of thing. And I was going through there and noticed that some of my items were on sale. And since then, I noticed that Stitch Fix has actually advertised the sale, but when I was going through my saved list, that's when I noticed the sale. So I decided, why not? Let's order a few things. But naturally, I checked um, some other places to see if they were having any kind of sale as well. So the first item that was on my list, and I kind of regretted it after I ordered it, because it's like, I like it, but do I love it? So it's um, a necklace by Argento Vivo. If you're not familiar with that name brand, it is like, um, I guess like a costume jewelry, but an upper level costume jewelry. So they typically, and I don't really know what this one is made out of, I should check that, but typically they use sterling silver and then layer in gold, you know, 14 carats. So it's, it's a better quality, um, you know, item. Um, this is also at Nordstrom and it is also on sale at Nordstrom. So I will provide a link. Hopefully it's still in stock now for you to get there. It was slightly cheaper at Stitch Fix. I think it was like 59 something at Nordstrom and 57.99 at Stitch Fix. So I figured, you know, as I was adding things to my cart, I ordered this. So I'll come a little closer. It is gold and silver intertwined and they're calling this a basket weave, which I guess it is, but it's almost like, you know, just like a, a twist. So it's like one line gold, one line silver. Um, and I do like it. I do have some concerns and I have a tiny neck. This is really tiny. It almost looks child size, but I'll put it on and see how it fits my neck. Um, it is pretty, it is pretty. I'm gonna look to see how it is. I don't have a gold chain or a silver chain like this. Um, and I, would, I was looking at something to replace something I had years ago. So I do like this. I'll try it on, see where it ends up on my neck and whether or not I decide to keep it. Again, it was $57.99. The next thing I ordered, you know, it was kind of attracting me. And by the way, I was just watching a video and polka dots are going to be big in for 2023. <laughs> and typically I'm not a huge polka dot fan, but something was calling my name to this cardigan. I don't know what it was, but it's calling my name to it. So this is by Les Serene. If I pronounce it correctly, I am not sure. It is a navy. It's a V-neck cardi. Let me hold it up again so you can see. You know, it has the buttons down here on the front in like a, a tortoise shell, kind of like a, a brownish type of tortoise shell, and tan polka dots, and it is in navy. And this is a thick sweater. This is nothing that I thought it was going to be based on the material that I was reading online. It kind of has a little bit of the balloon sleeve, if you can see here. Um, I was thinking that this would be, um, this is, uh, I'll read you the things. It's 50% rayon, 28% polyester, and 22% nylon. And for whatever reason, for this mix, I thought it was going to be a lot thinner and drapier. And I was thinking it would be a, a cute little item to bring into early spring. But it is really not that. It is really quite thick. Another thing I need to point out is you must wear a shirt underneath this. This is not something that can be open, you know, worn without anything underneath. The V is just way too deep. All right. So I'm probably going to send this back because it just wasn't what I had in mind, but it is a very nice sweater. If you like polka dots, this is a nice, thick quality sweater. And the price on this is not bad, $48. So not bad at all. This one is not on sale but I highly recommend the, the quality for the price ratio on this one. It just wasn't what I had in mind. I was thinking of something I can bring into the spring and then something too I can possibly wear without a shirt underneath. So, but this is like a winter cardigan. All right, up next, I've been seeing these quite a bit, both on Stitch Fix, on Nordstrom and on Transcend. So when these went on sale down to $89.99 on Stitch Fix, I had to snatch them. <laughs> so these are, are by Dolce Vita. They're the Castor H2O waterproof leather. If you would like to pay $160, the last I looked, that was the rate that was going on every eve. They did not mark them down except for the actual Black Friday sale. They might have marked them down a little bit. 
whereas both Nordstrom and Stitch Fix mark them down relatively similar. And it, you know, depending on the color that you wanted on Nordstrom, uh, it, the price changed slightly. I believe all these were $89.99, and don't quote me on that, on um, Stitch Fix. And I'll be honest, I had my eye on these, but it wasn't like, oh, I must have. But because, you know, I, you guys, if you know me, I need my heels. But these are a little bit clunkier type of shoe than I particularly like. I typically like um, more sleek and pointy toe and, and things that elongate my body. However, um, you know, they've been kind of calling my name and I know for a fact that we're gonna be getting a bad winter. If, if everyone else around us is getting snow, we're gonna be getting it soon enough. And I only have a pair of snow booties from years ago that are really for, they're not very fashionable at all. They're really like, you know, real old time snow booties. So I figured, you know what, if these fit well and they look stylish and in style, I'll get them, all right? And they're waterproof. So I'll try these on, see how they fit. And if I like them, I'm going to keep them. <laughs> all right, and I chose this color because I figured they go with everything. All right, up next, now these are another story. I have my eye on these and I'll show them to you in just a minute on Nordstrom forever. And they were $275, way out of my price range. <laughs> so I had on my wish list of Nordstrom forever and they sold out in my size when they were full price. So I was like, wow, well, damn, my aunt. people have more money than me. I'm not paying $275 for these things. <laughs> They are beautiful though. So when they got marked down on Stitch Fix to $111.99, I had to snag them. Score. <laughs> They're the Kelsey Dagger Brooklyn over the knee booties. Okay. They are in a, a, a brown suede that actually has like a hint of red to it. Just a hint, but it's brown. Um, funny thing is when I was looking online, I thought they were going to be more of a cognac color, but they're not. They're more of a, almost a chocolate brown, but with a hint, hints, just a slight hint of a reddish color to it. Okay. Um, they do have a rounded toe, which I would kind of surprise me, but you know what, you know, the, the pointy toe is not going to be in forever. So I am not too upset that it's a rounded toe at all. Um, the one thing that does concern me, and I will have to try them on, is the toe part is very small and it seems to go up very quickly. Like it seems like my foot is going to be like really on an arch. So I'll see how they, they fit me on, but these things are gorgeous. So they have the zipper so you can get them in and they're fully suede. Um, they have a stacked heel. Uh, again, if these fit me, they're mine. I have one pair of over the knee booties and a taupe. And for the price and as beautiful as these are, I, I don't think I can let these get away from me. So give me a minute and I'm gonna do a little bit of a try on for you guys. Okay, so I have to tell you, I am thrilled about these boots. These boots are fantastic, highly recommend them. Extremely comfortable, very surprising based on what the outside said of them. You know, they are over the knee. Um, and I do have wider calves and these work for me. Not only do I have wider calves, but I'm wearing straight leg jeans that are too long for me and I have to roll them under. And I was still able to shove the jeans in there to get these on. So these are amazing. <laughs> Thrilled with these. So good things uh, happen to those that wait. Because like I said, these were 275 at Nordstrom and they sold out in my size before they even ever got marked down. So I'm very thrilled with these. Um, again, I paid 111 change for them. The necklace, I'll come a little bit closer so you can see the necklace, okay? So the necklace is like a gold and silver and um, you can see it comes right below that like soft spot on my neck, which is a good length for me. I think I'm gonna keep this too because it is a very pretty necklace. Um, but I just wanna let anybody know who might want this necklace that it runs very small. Remember, I'm a very petite person. All right, this sweater. I might keep this. I'm trying to debate on this. So you guys want to have to let me know. Keep the sweater or no, it just doesn't look good. You know, uh, I don't have anything like this. It is thicker than what I had expected. It is a little bit roomier, but I'm okay with that. I just paired it with a nude clean cami. Excuse my black bra that's underneath. Um, and this is probably how I would wear it, just with a new bra, though, <laughs> instead of the black bra with this cami. 
Um, yeah, I mean, it's like a, it got like a tan polka dot navy and it has the balloon sleeves. And again, I'm small, so the sleeves are just going to be naturally longer on me. So, um, yeah, what do you think? I would wear this as an outfit. Absolutely. Um, and I absolutely love these boots. I'm in love. All right. Give me a minute and I'll pop on the other boots. Okay. I have the other boots on and I'm backing up here to show you. These are the waterproof boots. Um, there is no zipper to get these things on. You actually just have to slip them on your feet. Um, I'll be honest with you, they're a little tight across the top of my foot, in particular my left foot. It's not horrific, and it's not even where my bunions are. It's actually across the top right here. But they are leather. I do expect them to stretch out. So I think I'm okay with that. Um, you know, I, again, these are what I would wear on a snowy day. It's either this or my big old ugly galoshes, which are really snow boots. At least these are a little bit more stylish. I'm gonna have to look at the footage back to make sure I don't look like a Martian in these shoes and they're not, you know, they look stylish and not ugly on me. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're, they're nice too. I'll show you where they come up on me. So they're just like literally right at the top of my ankle. So maybe like an inch above my ankle. And again, they were just a slip on booty. I'll even come a little bit closer with the shoe off so you can see it easily slipped off and you can get a better idea of how it is. Again, it's a rubber sole with probably about like a three inch heel and I had no problem getting my foot in and out. So these are maybe, the sweater's a maybe, necklace is a yes, those brown boots are a yes. Now I have one more package that I'm waiting for and my mail has not come yet. So I may pop this in at the end uh, if it does come in time. Otherwise, I'll just publish this as is. Thank you again for returning subscribers. I appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? What's holding you back? I'm free. Click that notification bell to get notified of future videos from me and take care and until next time.